Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Nez Porter. Just want to do a follow-up on the video I did. I'm not even sure when I did it. I think I did it around the summertime. But um, some of y'all probably remember this video. So the city... Well... Yeah, the city. Kind of... After numerous complaints and people complaining and taking pictures and photos and videos of it have corrected the issue of blocking the sidewalk um, I got so many of these things I got to follow up on this is one of them so I don't know if you remember before these things were protruding outside onto the city sidewalk um, after the ADA and a whole lot of other people complained about it they finally put them even though they shouldn't even been like this in the first place, they kind of made it so it is a flat surface to walk across. So in the event somebody had a wheelchair, they could make it through there. But um, I think they even um, changed the window design to, to appease the actual uh, way it should be. Because if, if you remember before, you can check my video, those things were sticking out blocking the handicap ramp and from my understanding the handicap ramp needs a, a landing I forget the name of that landing the gentleman told me it's called a um, wow it's called something landing huh? but when you get when you come off a ramp you need a level landing I think it's called a level landing I believe, I believe that's what it's called um, for the wheelchair to rest on before you can proceed on the sidewalk and then you also need at least 48 inches of sidewalk to, for it to be safe for a person in a wheelchair to utilize it. And at one point, we did not have 48 inches of space to, to, for the uh, sidewalk area. But as you can see now, you can per perfectly walk across it. Um, no obstructions in the way. And I, I like to do follow-ups. I, I do have a lot of follow-ups I need to start doing. But um, so now you guys get an idea what took place. They um, they have corrected that issue over here. And this name of the street, I'm not going to be able to remember it. So I'm going to show you. It's, I guess it's called Shetland Street, if, that, if I'm pronouncing it the right way. I could be pronouncing it wrong, but I think it's called Shetland. Right here. That's, uh, uh, if I can zoom in on it. And take a quick walk back down this, so you can see what they but they have corrected. They still haven't removed that pole though. That, that pole that was in my last video I did over here. Uh, I'm going to show you that pole. I, I will call Eversource and a ask them why they have not removed that pole as of today. There's a pole that I'm going to document again. That's, that's, see this pole right in front of me? The base is kind of deteriorating. It's it's in danger of falling. But if you follow the pole all the way up, there's nothing on that pole. That pole is just standing there all by itself. So if that pole does fall, it's gonna pull down those wires. And if you can see it, Eversource is just on the other side of this wall too. So Eversource is like a st stone throw away. There's no reason why they shouldn't um, remove that. And I believe they have, I think it, I think it's like 20, is it 20 days or 20 weeks? But it's, it's something to that nature. It's not a long time to, um, to be having those poles. Once they switch over to the new pole, they have so much time to remove it. But today I'm documenting that they have corrected the um, the obstructions on the city sidewalk. 
And my question is, why was it ever allowed to be put there in the first place? Like, who would even authorize it? Like, I know they got a lot of phone calls. Like, they they definitely got a lot of phone calls for it. Because I, I personally know of of some people that called and took pictures and um, really, really called and complained about it. So they finally did correct it. But it sh should have had never been done in the first place. It should never have been done in the... Uh, Shouldn't have been allowed. Like, like, who are the city officials that are even allowed that to even take place? So that's my other thing. I got, I got so many things I got to follow up on. My next thing is following up on uh, what's the process when you pull a permit. Like, who go over goes over what's supposed to take place? Who does someone come down here and even look at the area before they break break ground? Like, and this is done over too, guys. This this is, has changed since the last time you guys saw it. And you guys remember how it was before. Uh, let me see if I can do it justice. So they do have an egress. Every building is supposed to have two means of egress. Fire egress. Sometimes you need more depending on how big the building is. But at least a minimum of two. So they have an egress. Now see how these things are like this on this side of the building? That's how it looked on the other side of the building. They had the same exact, like, bump out like that, but it was on the city sidewalk. Just imagine that, an instruction that high that would be right on the city sidewalk. And then wheelchair accessible people would not be able to get by. So uh, I just want to document what's going on. So right here at uh, Norfolk and Shetland Street, I guess you call it 180 Norfolk. And they they have corrected that issue that was was going on there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This sidewalk, wow, that's not even the right. That's that sidewalk's not even the right spot. Cause according to the new ones that they're doing over, the sidewalk should should be here, but. We won't, we won't even bother that right now. We'll leave that alone. I wonder if we're going to change this over too. Or not too sure. We'll keep an eye on it. Well, that's how we document things. See if they're going to change things over. It's kind of a small sidewalk there. So this is where the, this is where the, um... The tactical strip is going to be at on this sidewalk. But see what I'm talking about. If, if the tactical strip is going to be here, it has to line up with the one over here. So the question is, are they going to rip that sidewalk over and move that over to there? That would be the right way to do it. If, if this one's here, you, know, you, you guys that do construction, you guys know more than I know. So you're going to have a four, um, four foot tack strip right there. Potentially, you could have one here, but that means you got to put one over there. But they probably won't do that because that's not necessarily a crossing area. But this one here, it didn't cross over to there. So they may have to move that ramp. They may have to move that ramp over. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe I might do another video when they move that over too. Because directly, it should be over here now. All right, I just want to show you what goes on in the city. Uh, so the main thing is that they have corrected this issue. They cut those things down and they leveled it and now they just got metal grates out there. Yeah, even though the metal grates shouldn't be out there, but that's, I guess that's better than nothing at all. Like, and I, the reason why they did that, I, like, I, I know why they do this because investors want to maximize the square footage of the building so they want to advertise as much square footage as possible so theoretically this part of the area that will be pushed onto your property will limit your uh, square footage so you probably lose probably 200 square feet by just moving that over like that and then you can't get your maximum dollar because you see, you see the footprint that they have to build this building. You notice they even bumped, bumped it out up there. 
even that could be a concern because now you you push the windows closer to the electrical wires and from what i understand you shouldn't be less than 10 feet from electrical wiring that could be theoretically less than 10 feet to the wiring over there you know that could be another issue and there's a reason why they do that they, they don't want nothing within 10 feet of electrical wiring for numerous reasons but um they have corrected the issue and i guess we have to take that for what it's worth because um we're not gonna get nothing better than that so but the thing is how do we prevent it from happening again that, that's that's the other concern now, so ne the next building inspector that um comes out and authorize someone to do something guess what mr porter is going to be checking on it and see if they're doing it this way or doing it the right way and they may have to change their design before it goes to 1010 mass f all right guys catch you guys on the next one